All right, so let's get to it. Start playing adventure mode. So as I get into this, you'll find that um, if you retire an adventure, you can actually play him again. I've heard what it does is just it just resets your reputation. So I'll basically have options for all the civilizations I can play from, but also I'll be able to play from just after the human outsider option uh, the names of characters that I've retired. In this case, we'll bring up the dwarf and see if he's going to pop up in a town or if he'll uh, be back in that subterranean place. Hopefully he won't be, but I don't know if he will be or not. I haven't done this before, actually. So it'll be interesting to find out. All right. All right, I guess we'll have to wait a little bit, but hopefully that won't take too long. And well, I'll just keep it going for now. Um, uh, what I'll probably do is when I actually do uh, get back in with this character, I will try and explore the nearby town and forts to see if they might have a crux um, available. At least with a crux, I can walk around. And that will be a lot better than crawling everywhere. Also, if it's possible, I'll see if those uh, certain men are around and if I can uh, recruit them into my army again. Which I'm sure would be interesting for all of you. Or at least be interesting for me. I never actually had those guys. Um, I guess with uh, a crutch, I'll try and see if there's any way around um, equipping it without losing access to the shield and the, sword, uh, and the mace I'm holding. Which should be kind of annoying. I've also heard that you can use your uh, crux to attack things, which would be interesting. I'm not really much to use crux boxers. I usually find that I usually die whenever I get dismembered in some way like that. Okay, this is taking a while, so I will pause it and we'll get back to it when it's up. Uh... And now a moment after I pause it, it decides, oh, let's just, you know, load right now. So here's Cog. He's down here, retired in this little area. Um, if I click on him, and here we go. I'm of course still on the ground, as you can see. I can't stand. My uh, damage to my wounds still prevents me from doing it. I have our started within the town, so that's nice. Doesn't look like those lizard men are around though, which is kind of sucky. But no worries. Or never mind. He lives. One of them lives. These flashing guys are usually lords, or uh, I guess he isn't a lord. Whatever. In my inventory, we actually see that I still have everything that I came out with. Um, so I can sell all that at a human. Oh, I should probably get rid of that uh, water dump. Uh, water lace of mud. You empty the water skin. Or bucket, raise the bucket, and interact the water skin, the bucket. So I do have a wanderer with me. One of the servant men, I guess, stayed with me for some reason. And it was. Yes. And you actually notice that she has this basic wooden stuff. Um. Arms and trust of a man, these creatures are evil and the fur underground, that blah blah blah. But she's my minion at the moment, so I don't care if he's evil or not. And no guys in here. Uh let's just get to it. I've got one guy who's with me. I don't need to look around for the other. Whoa. I kept going there. Uh, I'll do one click. Oh, there we go. 
and crossbowmen greet join Macemen greet join as you can see my base base reset so what I can, uh, what's great is that I didn't report report that chocolate yet so report this is fantastic join truly impressed is better than this so great now I have uh Maceman, he's got oh he's got an iron shield. That's not bad. So it's kind of nice to have some guys with me. Now I think what I'll do is to make things easier, I'm just gonna nickname these guys. And um I'm going to customize them basically. This woman, she'll be known as um, let's call her nah, just, you know nah, let's do something better than that. Ah. Uh, Whatever, that'll work. So now she's called Liz Stabby. And a crossbowman, we will call him um, Sec. I guess I can't really do that. Too bad. Um, we will call him Sharp Shooter. One. So I've got Liz Stabby, Sharpshooter One, and we will name the Maceman because that's what he'll be. All right, so onward. Let's go explore a fort. And we've got forts down here, forts over here, forts over here, town over there. Um, what we'll do is we will go to the south fort first, just because I'll, I can go in a circular motion. And what's so great about forts here is that I can go in here and possibly there's a crux for the taking. Or a shield. Shields are nice too. For some reason you'll find that uh, basically it's all free for taking. In like warehouses and forts and catacombs and dungeons. For whatever reason. No one owns it, but you can take it. care about recruiting guys. There's a guy there to recruit if I want to. Let's look around. Bags, 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 and more bags. Well, let's look in the bag. Bag number one. Got Catler backpack, I'm buckler. Uh, buckler wouldn't be bad. Training spear. Got a bronze maul, but I don't want a maul. I want something one handed. Probably, probably shouldn't really matter, anyways, because the maul's a hammer. I use maces. Copper shields. Nice stuff you can find in uh, keeps for whatever reason. I'm going to keep my shield just for the simple reason that I think shields are better for blocking um, whatever gets shot at you from. There we go. Dad. 
That's what I want. Nice little shield. All right, let's go for a crutch. Hopefully we'll find a crutch. It could be, you know, in this loot somewhere. I honestly don't know if there's a crutch or not. Another nice thing would be a nice mace or flail or um, morning star. What's so great though is I could equip myself real well if I as a human. Bronze flail. I'm not sure if bronze is better than copper. I think it's it depends on what you're trying to penetrate. Copper is better for like bronze, but um bronze is better for iron, I think it was. Iron battle axe. I could become a true dwarf fighter. Nope, not there. I was looking here first. Nope, that's just a zinc cage. I don't want a zinc cage. Plenty of stuff to find and keep. Iron Maul, Iron Buckler, Iron Shield. Bronze Shield. Wolf. Uh, rope, yarn, no maces or crutches. You won't always find a crutch. It was an Eric Wire skin. I gotta take that. Where do I wear all this st stuff I took? But I hear that it doesn't really provide you protection to wear jewelry. You can wear it, but it just won't help you. And in my case, I don't really care if, if it does help. If it doesn't, or um, if it does, it's going to weigh a lot. So that's another reason I don't really want to wear it. Iron Maul, Iron Shields. And that's it. Iron Crossbow, Pine Training Axe. I want to check that for a moment. The different little symbols there next to shields depend, um, describe their weapon quality, just like in Dwarf Fortress. And um, depending on how finely crafted it is. So if I look at uh, this, it is a finely crafted iron shield encrusted with finely crafted rectangular emerald to uh, whatever is on the arm is finely. Design image of a spore tree and superly designed image of a round whatever. And we'll look at the shield. Shield is just a finely crafted shield. It doesn't really matter if you have decorations on it. So, don't really care. It's valuable, but it's not going to be any better than the current one. Here's the lord or lady. Don't really care to talk to her at the moment, she's just gonna bug off. That seems to be it, there's no more in this castle for looting. Which is too bad. I wouldn't mind finding a crux, but I wouldn't mind well, I need a crux. There's no way around it. I can't really fight with uh more I can but it's not exactly something I want to do. 
So I'm sure you get a basic idea of what I'm doing. I'm just going to keep running around to these different uh, castles and forts and towns. Um, I'll go to the next, this one next, then this one, then this one. Then I'll go to the town, I think. I think I'll do that. So, yeah, I'll pause it here. And if I get the crux, I get the crux. If I don't, um, you'll probably see me over here, some, probably. Maybe I'll just uh, go through this fork first. Then I'll unpause it and trek over, and I'll probably get ambushed and die. All right, I'm in the next fort. But I figured, but this before I forget, I found a morning star, so I'll get that. Oh, I'm hungry again. Forever hungry. I also found a water skin, and I filled up the other one, so I have quite a bit of water. Uh, man. And I'm going to get rid of this uh, powerful, but, you know, I don't need it anymore. Mace is going by. And I like to drop the shield, too, just because if you pick it up um, second, it becomes your second uh, like type of weapon in the combat menu. So, also, I'll just do this before I leave. The weapon, since it has it, has all those kills. Those are all the kills that I made on the mace and the other ones. So, I'm leaving with, with a nice, powerful mace. I hope they enjoyed mace. I enjoyed the mace. All right, well, I basically will keep continuing looking for this. Um, there was some splints, but splints don't help me. I need a crutch, not a splint. There's the uh, Lord of the Keep. It looks like just nothing in this one. What's this? A hash cover, so that's how I get in. Yeah, there's the splint right there. I took it out to examine it. So that's all I'm doing is an update. I've got myself a new weapon. Uh, I got myself another water skin. And I'm hanging off to the next fort. All right, we're back. Uh, just a quick update, basically. You can also find other stuff as um, in force like picks. I think it's one of the one few places you can find picks. Like those are weapons you can use. I don't plan to use picks, but I fired this mention it since I've I found one, and it's worth mentioning. I'll keep looking then for a crutch in possibly one of these. Um, of these forts. I might not find one, but I hope I do. There's enough, you know, forts around me. I should find one. Another water skin. I like water skins. I'm gonna have so many water skins. Probably don't need to have so many, but it's good to have war sources of your water. Uh, how many do I have now? I basically have that one right there, the first one, and then that one there, that one there. That one there. I got four water skins. Four water skins is enough. I won't be picking up one more. And ooh, nice, nice pile of it. Uh, bronze flail. Yeah, crutch. I've got a crutch. See your crutch. Uh, let's see it. Remove. I'm gonna try doing this. Remove the crutch. Whoops. Remove the crutch. You take out the crutch. Can I stand up? I can stand up! So, so yes, I can stand up finally. Let's just have seen. I I can now use a crutch to walk around. I have to make sure that your crutch is always in your hand, but put the amulet in the um that's what there. But anyways. Um, now that I have a crutch, I am training up crutch walker, as you can see, and that will slowly go up. My speed will improve. Uh, it should be noted if you ever find a crutch in your adventures, you should always take it. Um, you never know when you're gonna be injured um, by you know something, and then you you'll need a crutch, and then if you if you have one on you, you can make use of it. And you don't have to go find it like I did. 
because I had to go through three forts just to find this one crutch. And what I'm looking for now is any other uh, maces. I only have an Iron uh, Morning Star, but I prefer to have uh, silver or. Um, ah, well, silver would be great. Bra iron isn't bad. I mean, I think it might be better for the Morning Star because might, it is an edge weapon. And. Uh, Morning Star might be a, a spike ball, but um, there's never a spar skin, but I'm not going to take it. It might be a spike ball, but you know, the little spikes themselves, they'll possibly penetrate armor better. That's what Morning Star is supposed to do. And we'll just look in here. There's an iron pouch, that's nice. But I'm not going to take it. It's heavy. Bronze flail. Eh. Uh, no. Iron whip. Possibly make a, a whip, whipping character next. But I'll be for next time. I'm Warhammer. I actually haven't found, found a lot of silver stuff. Which makes me wonder if this, guy, if this human civilization has access to silver. Well, that's it there. I go up. A bit more stuff. Copper, copper mace. Well, I already have one mace. Don't need another mace. And ash and splints. Another water skin. Always another pick. Training axe, training sword. Another iron, iron morning star. I should check to see the quality level of mine and compare it to that. Iron Flail. Um, hey, another crutch, but I already have one crutch. That's good enough. Ah, uh, well, now let's get the crutch. I'll just compare it with my other crutch. If I do hit stuff, I'd want better crutch. Now let's go backwards. And there's that flail. Um. I don't really need a flail. I mean, there's I, the morning star will be good enough for now. Uh, look in here. Hey, another crutch, but that's worse quality for sure. I like all these crutches. It's funny how they're all in the same port. So many of them. Silver crossbow. So there is some silver stuff. I'm just not finding it. Okay, let's go in here. So, as you can see, I have a cedar crutch and I have a willow crutch. Uh, the willow crutch is better just because it has a asterisk instead of that. If I go into details, it'll say this is a finely crafted cedar crutch. But if I look at the willow crutch, this is a superior quality willow crutch. So it's superior. So let's see. We'll drop the cedar crutch and we'll. Remove the Willow Crutch, and now I've got the Willow Crutch in my left hand, my shield in the left hand, the Morning Star in the right hand. And I can still walk. And then here, this will be the last check. Okay, I've got nothing. So, I found my Crutch. As, as my as I said, my crutch walker is going up. It'll take a while to get um, my crutch walker back to the level 